Ecclesiastes 8, 4 says, Where the word of a king is, there is power, and who may say unto him, What doest thou? Anyone in authority is powerful and should be obeyed unless their commandments negate the word of God. Romans 13, 3 and 4 says that the king bears a sword, and you should fear him because he is not wielding it in vain. In other words, he is empowered to use that sword if you do wrong. Our experience when the coronavirus pandemic started clearly showed the power of those in authority like never before. What will we Christians look like if we always disobey constituted authority? Do you think our heavenly God wants the whole world to see his children as stubborn and unruly people? If anyone would disobey authority, it shouldn't be Christians because the very essence of Christianity itself is in holiness, that is complete obedience. When a businessman who is also a pastor is the very one doctoring figures and evading taxes, would he be able to preach the gospel to the tax officials who discover his crime? When people see you throwing trash on the street or running a red light, what image are you painting to them of your father? Believe me honestly, when you disobey constituted authority, you have disobeyed God. So when the authority uses their sword on you, God will not come to your rescue. God requires his children to obey constituted authorities. Disobeying those he has put in authority amounts to rebellion, which is a sin. 1 Samuel 15.23